Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungo and we are Fanny and Jesse. So today we're gonna do a reaction video over here. This one was suggested by somebody in the comment section below. Why Dr. Zaki Naik post pictures with private jets and extravagance or something like that. So yeah, so without any further ado, let's get it. The next question asked on the WhatsApp is, we want to know what was your purpose of posting your photos flying in a private jet plane and traveling in a bulletproof car with so many security on the social media during your lecture tour to Nigeria in November 2023? Is this not showing off an extravagance? We love you for your dawa, not for your luxury and extravagance. <coughs> this is a very important question. It's referring to my lecture tour which was for two weeks for, to Nigeria from the 29th of October to the 10th of November. It was for about two weeks. And the lecture was very successful. And I remember that I posted on the social media twice that I flew on a private jet plane from Sokoto to Elorin once and second time from Elorin to Abuja. And when I posted this on my social media, on the Facebook, on the Instagram, etc., there were thousands of comments. And Alhamdulillah, most of them saying, MashaAllah, may Allah smart reward you, you're doing a great work, may, may, may Allah bless you, may Allah give you more niyama. More than 99% of the comments were all positive. There was a small few comments, maybe 0.001% of the thousands of comments that came, a number very few. Who did say that why are you posting that you're flying in a private jet plane? Isn't it extravagance? Or what is the purpose? So in reply, and that is the reason I chose this question when it made was asked. That Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter number two, verse number two seventy one, that when you give charity and you announce about the charity you have given, it is good. But when you read, let your charity reach to the poor people in secrecy, it is better. So Allah says, when you give charity, you can keep it silent. Like the hadith says, when your right hand gives, the left hand should not know. It's good. But that doesn't mean announcing is not allowed. Depending on your purpose, if your purpose is to show off, then announcing is not good. But if your purpose is to encourage others, when you give charity, and when you announce and you encourage others, it's good. Because your main niya is so that other people also join in charity, other people get sawab. So if your reason for announcing your charity is to show off that, okay, I've given charity, it's not good. Better is to keep quiet. But if you're announcing, so more people join. So it is better to announce than to keep silent. And that's the reason you may be aware that just uh, two weeks earlier, I won the case against one of the politician, that is the deputy, the former deputy chief minister two of Penang. I won a case against him. Many defamed me, wrote articles against me, and the court of Malaysia awarded me 1.52 million ringgit as damages. That's equal to. 320,000 US dollars equal to 2.7 in 2.7 crore Indian rupees. What I did, and you already gave me the money on the 7th of November, and I donated the complete amount for the Palestinian cause. The reason I announced is so that it encourages the others also to take part that. I have done and others will fall. It wasn't to show off. Similarly, now when you analyze that I did post twice on two occasions that I traveled in a private jet plane. If you know my talks, I always talk about simplicity. They should not be extravagance. They should not be unnecessary luxury. If you talk about extravagance, let me tell you, I did not pay a single penny for this private jet plane. The host was flying in the private jet plane. There were already 13 seats. 
So me and my family joined them. If we wouldn't have joined them, maybe we would have to pay for the flight ticket by going by a conventional or a commercial plane. So to say that I spend extra is totally wrong. I did not spend extra, I saved money. So it's not extravagance at all. But why did I post it? If you see that I always say, and I tell the people that see to it that your life should be simple, even though you can afford a business class, travel and economic class. And I do that. By Allah's grace, I can afford to travel in first class. But what I tell the people, you travel in an economy class, a business class normally is four to six times more expensive than economy class. If you travel in economy class with a little bit discomfort, it's not very bad. You can give that amount in charity and that's what I do. In my full life, only on one occasion when there was an emergency I had to be to that city and there was no tickets available in economy, I traveled only once in my full life in the last 30 years of my travel have I paid for a business class that's a different thing than when I'm called as a guest of the government and they give me a ticket in business class in first class I've traveled a lot I've been in private jet plane many times an umpteen number of times not that I asked for it the reason is because today the world has become a global village and you find that there's a trend that you see in the social media, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Instagram, WhatsApp, YouTube, that people try and look for role models. And we find that unfortunately most of the people that people follow, they are that, those who are not on the straight path, whether they be rock singers, whether uh, they be actors, whether they may be dancers, whether pop singers or maybe sportsmen, etc. So what we find that this trend is there. So the reason I did is that Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the post it says Alhamdulillah, mashallah, that by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you find that normally these things happen with those celebrities, you know, which people look up to. So here my reason main was posting it to see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the niyama even to his servants. So the main reason was not to show off. The main reason was to tell to the world that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you, when you work in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you go to spread his message, Allah not only gives you blessing in the akhirah, Allah gives you in this world. As Allah says in the Quran that if you strive for this dunya, Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 200, that if you strive for this dunya, Allah will give you the dunya but he will not give you akhirah. But if you, if Allah, and Allah says that if you strive for akhirah, Allah gives you akhirah and dunya. So I am just telling the world that I am a dai. I have sacrificed my life for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am doing it for akhirah. But see the goodness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See the niyama of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah, inshallah, Allah will give me jantah fiddos. Inshallah, we pray for that. We don't know. But we pray for that. But Allah is even giving me this dunya. How many people in the world have traveled in a jet plane? Maybe 0.001% out of the 8 billion people that are there, the percentage that may have traveled in a jet plane is surely 0.001%. So imagine Allah, we are not doing for this. I have never ever paid only once for a business class, never paid for a first class, though we can afford it. Allah has given us the niyama. So the reason is to show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even blesses those people who are striving the way. What we have today is that we look up to role models. And the best role model for the Muslim is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the best role model and after that the other ambiyas. The second category of role model are Adul Khulfa Rashidin. They are the second after the Ambiyas, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam no one, then the other Ambiyas, then we have the Khulfa Rashidin. They are the second best. Then we have the Sabas. These role models of the past. Then we have role models of the recent past. Then we have the role models which are living. So when we look up to the, the reason that we see today is that it happened in the past. Okay, we know regarding the earlier answer that we know that people, Allah gave victory to the people who are weak in the past. What about today? 
that happened maybe 1400 years ago, 1000 years ago, maybe few thousand years ago, talking about David and Goliath, talking about battle of Badr, but Allah has given example, even we know about the Taliban, for more than 20 years, the most richest country, the most powerful country in the world, they tried to destroy them. They spent more than a trillion dollars, but yet the Taliban were one of the weakest in the world. They were victorious. So here also, here you see that it is an example that people strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't go for luxury. We don't, but Allah gives you. So the purpose of mine was just to show the niyama that Allah has given to a person who is walking in his path. And the reason I said that we traveled in a bulletproof car with securities, we could see that there were umpteen number of security in Nigeria. Not that somebody would attack me. Alhamdulillah, people in Nigeria love me. But this is a protocol that not only do, do they give these protocols to the head of states, etc., but even to Adai. I remember when I went to Gambia, the amount of respect that the president of Gambia gave me his main chief protocol officer said that no one, the protocol that you had got, even the heads of state don't get. I went to Indonesia and I could see that when I landed, when I reached my hotel, after every 50 meters there was a policeman. So from the time my destination, where I landed, to my destination, that is the hotel, there were hundreds or thousands of policemen on the street. I was shocked. Never ever have I been in such a protocol that there are policemen every 25, 50 meters throughout for so many kilometers. I was shocked. So this is their love. So this is the niyama for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hazam in fazli rabbi to show to the world that you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah gives you honor. We have the celebrities, you know, these pop stars, the singers, they have 1 million followers, 5 million followers, 10 million followers, 20 million followers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also can give a da'i millions of followers, whether it be on the Facebook, whether it be on the YouTube. So when we say Alhamdulillah, that on my Facebook there are 23.7 million followers. There is no English speaker, religious speaker in the world, whether it be a Hindu or a Christian or a Muslim that Allah has given more than 23 million followers. And Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not to show off, it is to show that you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah opens the pathways. So when I posted me flying a private jet plane, which a small percentage, 0.001% of the people in the world have done it, or having a bulletproof car with so much security, it's an honor, it's a protocol. So the reason was to show to the world that the honor that Allah gives you in this world and the akhirah. So it is to give an indication to the Muslims that you strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you strive for akhirah, Allah will give akhirah and this dunya also. So that was my only purpose, that is the reason. More than 99% of the comments said, MashaAllah, may Allah grant you more, they understood the reason. There may be 0.01% of the people like the questioner who posed it. Now what was the purpose? They don't understand the hikmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because I always tell, and I tell that, you know, a person should have a low profile. And I tell that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me. Allah has blessed me even in this dunya. But in spite of that, we are on a low profile. And I've told that many times in my lecture, that I own a Toyota Innova car. That is the maximum. I said I cannot buy a more expensive car than this. Why? Because I feel above this will not be good. It's not haram. Allah has blessed me when I am earning millions of ringgit and millions of rial every year. So either I can afford a Mercedes or I can even afford a Rolls Royce, the amount that Allah has blessed me. But I own a Toyota Innova car. That's the maximum. I think above this will not be good. It's not right. But we know that we started business in Qatar during the World Cup, that is last year, in 2022. And we started a luxury car company in Qatar for the World Cup. And it happened to be the largest luxury rent a car. And by Allah's grace, we owned 134 luxury cars from the top models, from Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, 
Bentley, Bentley Flying Spur, Bentega, Maybach, Mercedes F450, we had the Porsche. Alhamdulillah, that is for business. Imagine the cheapest car that I had in my piece rent a car that was there. The cheapest car was three times more expensive than the car I owned for my private use, Innova, Toyota. Three times more expensive. So much so that when I went to meet my daughter in Qatar, I took the lowest car, that is Mercedes E-Class, E200. The cheapest car in my fleet. Because hiring outside, I had to pay money. It was available. So I took the cheapest car and I saw to it that I travel in the lowest car if I'm using my car. I could have traveled in the best of cars. And now I've purchased a more cheaper car so that if I travel, it should be a cheaper car. But when a die comes, and I made it a point that now since the World Cup is over, the business is not really very lucrative, but I yet maintained it so that there's no profit, no loss. But at the same time, any die that comes to Qatar, whether he be an Arabic Dai or an English Dai, if he is an Islamic worker, these cars are complementary. And many a times, many Dai's have come from different parts of the world. We give them the best of cars, not luxury cars, super luxury cars. They sit in a Maybach, they sit in a Bentley. Imagine hiring a Bentley or a Maybach or a Rolls Royce for a day, it is 9,000 riyal. That is two and a half thousand dollars. Of course, for a normal person, it's rough, it's extravagant, but that's business. We are catering to the multi-millionaires or the billionaire, so that's a niche market. But when a die comes, I give him free. For me, it's costing me only a cost of the petrol. Because the car is there, the driver is there. If no one comes, then the car is there, no cost. So for me, the cost is only for petrol, which may be 60 riyals, maybe 15 dollars. So I give the best car to the die, depending upon the die. And they have never sat most of the dais in these high-end luxury cars. So I want to honor them. It is not for luxury to extravagant. It's because they're a dai, I give you free. Of course, you cannot afford two and a half thousand dollars a day. It's too expensive. Your air ticket economic class would be cheaper than that from whichever part of the world you come to Qatar. It will surely be less than two and a half thousand dollars for one day. And we're there for one week, we give the full. So one of the reasons that we have maintained this rent a car in Qatar is to give free service to the Dai. Of course, traveling or using these super luxury cars like Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Bentley, very few people have the thing. But I personally don't sit in these cars, though we own it. It's the company in, is in the name of my son. It's not in my name. But I'm just giving an example. We want to honor the Dais. So similarly, when people who own the jet plane, I remember when a person had sent a jet plane in South Africa to, to Kalik Method that instead of that, that cost of that you can give donation, they say, no, no, I give to celebrities. What better sawab can I give than to give a dai like you in the world? So here Allah is giving his niyama. So when we have these postings, besides the hundreds of other postings, this is just twice a couple of postings each time to show to the world that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessing a person who works in his path. It is an example for the people that this is the niyama Allah gives you in the akhirah as well as the dunya. So it is just to show to the world that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of you. You see to it that you don't be extravagant yourself in your life, but Allah will yet give you luxury. So it's a blessing that my children, we have traveled in various countries in the world, they have been in the best of hotels, 5 star, 6 star, 7 star, 10 star hotel. They have been there. At the same time, they have, they have been to the low hotels. We have trained them that they should be ready as a Dai to be prepared to lead a life, a simple life. That's the reason I've said many a times that me personally, for me and my wife, our monthly expenditure is only $500. Only $500 so that we keep our lifestyle low. But on for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we travel, we see to it that we spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is giving us niyama. So all this is haza min fazli rabbi. This is because of the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the main purpose of putting the post, whether it be the private jet planes or the security or the bulletproof car, is to show that Allah is blessing his servants.
Hadha min fadhi rabbi. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are doing it for the akhirah, but Allah gives you akhirah and this dunya also. Hope this answers the question. What do you think, though? Mm -hmm. I understand where he's coming from. Someone like him, yeah? He's a well-known sheikh. I mean, people know him all over the world. Maybe if not 90%, maybe 80% of Muslims have heard about, about him. And he's very famous. So for him to have those kind of luxury, it, it, it's so inevitable. Because why am I saying that? Because he may not want to fly in a private jet, but the people who are inviting him, they're like, no, please, this is what we want to offer you. You know, have it. And what he has just really explained to us is that sometimes you just want to post something for a good cause. Not to brag, not to show people that I have, but to just show people that God has blessed me this far and God can also bless you the same way God has blessed me. I'll talk about that later. But what I'm trying to say is this. What he just say, say towards the end, like they only spend $500 every month uh, him and the wife it might be true why am i saying that because that's maybe the only money that is coming out of the pocket but there are so many abundance coming from outside that is just giving them and they are receiving do you understand what i mean like for example uh, maybe when it comes to food wise when it comes to certain things maybe it's just in plenty because people want to come and give and humans have gotten to this point where whenever they see one of their leaders or one of their especially religious leaders they feel like when I give them they receive more do you understand it might be some sort of misinformation some some of them believe so and they end up getting some end up doing that and they end up not even getting more so it depends on how how much your faith and belief is in them but uh, what I'll, I'll say is but this. Do you think people should do that? I don't think people should be doing that. I think people should. Sometimes, sorry. I want you to answer because sometimes I feel like the ones that give are the ones that don't have. Yes. And this is a very good thing that you've just uh, asked, I mean, or, or, or made a statement about. If you know that you don't have, like you don't have, you understand. And you know that your faith is really not that strong or your your mindset is not really good when it comes to attracting certain things especially uh, wealth abundance and whatnot so whatever you have you decide to take it and give it to to someone that you've been seeing on the television or maybe someone that has been your is, is your role model let's say a religious leader and you end up just giving it all to them i think that's wrong i think the most important thing you should actually understand is that yes I'm giving it to this person. What is it that I'm gaining from giving? Should I give it to him or should I go down the streets and give the stranger? How much blessing do I get when I give, give it to a religious leader who was already has more than what he can even use probably in 10 years to come? Do you understand? Uh, I feel like it's one thing to... To give and then it's also another thing to to receive especially if you know that you don't have much and this goes to the law of especially when it comes to business you shouldn't consume more the consumerism has to be less same applies to purchasing power the more you consume content the more you don't find yourself wanting to create anything so be a creator be the person who wants to create other than wanting to consume much the more you consume less and create more you end up creating an impact but when you consume more you don't create any impact because the only thing you have is just the consumption of what you've just gotten from the from the internet and it just stays with you but if you consume again consuming is not bad but what are you consuming and what is it that you're putting out there at the same time so you think him posting him, that picture was okay according to how he explained it's all right but i feel like if you're a religious leader, try to maintain, you know, try to be, I don't know, Would be you? as modest as you can be. Be humble. as, yes, as humble as you can be. Would you also say the same thing about Christian pastors, right? Yeah, especially those ones. 
I mean, they, it, it has gotten to a point um, now. I, I'm even asking like this because uh, showing off. Look at the way he's explained it. Mm -hmm. But then we've also seen videos of um, Christian pastors having bodyguards, security, all that, yeah. all those fancy things going on. Would you think that's okay also? Just like the way he just mentioned that this is a protocol. I understand is it, what is it just really protocol protocol by what protocol protocol by maybe if a higher statement comes in they have to be given by, yeah. yes has to be given uh, some yeah. some you know mm. some protection do you understand because if anything happens to him in the land um, we're going to be in charge of whatever thing that happens there but do you think so he's really I just think people really need that security to be honest, if if uh, if you have an enemy out there, if you know that you don't have an enemy, you don't need a, 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 a what? You don't need security. And I think but for him, religion and government issues are two separate things. Yeah. So when you say for him is a, is someone with the higher state, like in the state, yes, he's recognized. to understand that, but still, that's not government issues. Do you understand? Yeah, but do you know Especially that... Especially if you go to a country where maybe whatever religion you're coming from, you're not practiced. But look at this country that is going to mm. 60, 80%, 90% Muslims. Mm -hmm. And one sixty or 90% is a Muslim in any country. Look at the, the, the law that governs that, that country. It actually blends in with Islamic laws at some point. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So once it blends in, it automatically makes him part of the of the government do you understand so he if he's flying in in any of those islamic countries then he has to have those kind of protocols he has just to, like or they may no provide, they no they, they, they will may provide. maybe maybe he, maybe he will say that i don't need protection but i don't think he can say anything like that do you understand why Maybe he can say I need I need protection or I don't have protection, but according to how he has explained here, he obviously told us that he doesn't ask for those things. He he would rather just go into a economic class. But because people out there are like no, we're gonna do this for you. We've we've done this to all to lots of celebrities and whatnot. Why don't we do it for you? When coming to protection and bodyguard, whatever thing, just the way he has, he has explained it, mm -hmm. there are protocols. Just like what I've said, in case anything happens to him, what's going to happen? Well, or at least going to travel to another country. Yes. But then, that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like I have mixed emotions about this. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? <sighs> yes, there's someone who won't like you here and there. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can like you. But exaggerated security that attracts attention yeah is what doesn't sit well with me um yes provide security that's fine but i don't know i really don't know how to feel about this given the chance also to fly on a private jet of course i'm going to take that picture and post it i will post yeah. it anyone of us will yeah uh, yeah and again this is one of those things that even him he knew that you know there are those little ego that you mm -hmm. have or pride mm -hmm. that never comes out that you 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 have to show the people yeah, do you understand that, so those thing, yes exactly so those are the things that it never comes out from a man or from a woman or whatever people in general what i'm trying to say is this if you're a religious leader okay yes you know that the kind of people who follow you i do you want to how do you want to inspire these people you inspire these people with the word of god do you want to inspire these people with the earthly things that that getting into a private jet and you post it out there to show them now exactly earthly things. yes earthly things now it's like you're going into a different different um different sector or different uh set of ambience where now people will start to look at you different because normally this is how humans are we, we when you're at a certain humble. stage when you're at a certain stage you start very humble yeah mm -hmm. But the moment Even you get to could, yes, right. yes, but when you get to a certain stage where you are, people really you you out there. Do you understand? Yes, known. things start to change drastically. If not drastically, As maybe. Should, I feel like you should change with the whole process anyway. Yeah, I mean you should change gradually. Okay, I I, I get it. Change, change, come. You shouldn't be there the whole time. 
I've been I've been working 11 I mean 11 years should I be there at the same spot no I need to change that's what Jay-Z said like I have I can't be in the same spot I can't be in the same spot 11 years and you you want me to be to be in the same spot no I have to move to a different stage in life but now these are for the people who are who are out there who want to show themselves that hey I've moved on to a different set of life but now when it comes to religious leaders I feel like yeah you have your life we get it you have your own life but if you have dedicated your life to serve the people especially to uh, educate the people uh, with the word of God then let it only be the word of God let it not go past that let it not go to a point where now it has especially most of these African leaders even some other Muslim leaders out there who post things just to show the people that hey you know what this is how far God has brought me if you look at it but, carefully but it's not it's not about be, how yeah shouldn't that be your business between you and God yes that should yeah you know I mean just just try to to be as humble as, as you can because even when you mingle with the people no matter how rich you are try to lower yourself to a point where you can be able to sit down with the people who are, are seeking more attention when it comes to being taught when it comes to help if you can sit down with them understand what they're saying understand where they come from and whatnot but again the moment you start separating yourself and then you get to a point where you post pictures to show them uh, this is where i am now their way of seeing is going to change but again there's another trick here what if this is a way of encouraging the ones who are down there to try and level up Guys, if not level up, <laughs> if not that's, level that, up. That's, that's the point i'm trying to bring out but you keep going to understand how exactly are you motivating me by posting yourself entering a private jet yeah Please. there's no motivation no, there okay, it's just I'm asking uh, you it's just giving because someone the else pressure. Of you, no, it wouldn't give me pressure. Do you understand? I don't see how it gives me pressure. I don't see how it motivates me to do anything. Um, so how exactly is it motivating me? What? I don't understand. It's motivating you to do what? Um, when, when you go into the internet and you see one of your one of your role models probably doing certain things. It doesn't motivate you. It doesn't give you an urge of wanting to do something. Like whom? I don't know. I'm saying one of your role models. You know them. No. It doesn't make you feel you want to do something. No. Okay. So now. Nothing materialistic like going on a private jet mm -hmm. or being on that island. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I'll see the picture. Maybe I'll like it, and that's that. Mm -hmm. So now this goes to. The believers and the people of faith who follow all these leaders you see him posting these things he actually say that he's not trying to show off it's for the it's for a good cause you know but trust me there's that <laughs> there's a pride and ego of him wanting to post it out there for people to see obvious i mean you, you can you, to show off that god has blessed yes you? i mean you cannot deny that it's 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 in every person. It's in everyone. Now, what I'm trying to make people understand it's is in this: everyone to show off. When you get to a certain level in life, yeah, as much as you want to show off, according to what he just said, at what cost do you want to show off? Do you understand? Do you want to show off because you want to show people that you made it in life to show other people? The ones who are enemies to you, you want to show them that you are at a certain point? Or are you posting something to somehow try and elevate certain people? But what is it that you are posting that is elevating the people? Do you understand? I mean, there's so many ways you can look at it. But what, what I'm just trying to say is this. For the believers and people of faith who are out there, we've seen uh, day and day, night and night, where... Uh, certain religious leaders post things to show you that God has blessed me this far and it's it's through your money that you give it's through those uh, sadaka it's through your uh, what do you call this 
is through your offerings and the things that you give to them. As much as you want to give, also look at what you have in your pocket. Some people go ahead and give whatever they give and then they don't eat. They mm. end up starving. There's a there's a there's actually someone now, in my now country. I have a problem with those people that actually why are you taking your last you know it doesn't make sense to me. You so, can't you, you and, and and I don't think God appreciates such a thing. How can you get your last money, feed your friend and not feed yourself? You first no, have no, to take no. care of yourself. I know, yes. So that you can lend a hand to the next person. Do you understand? I know, but but you know when you say that then there's some aspect of things you need to understand also. Even today when like, there's an example, accident, no, help your no yourself first then help the other person whatever accident it is when there's an accident if, okay for example in a plane mm -hmm. they first if you read those rules they tell you first put on your oxygen mask mm -hmm. before you can help the other person with the o oxygen mask do you understand but again it depends with the level of 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 oxygen you can hold anyway, for example if i'm with you Mimi, yeah and I know I can hold my oxygen as much as I can. And there's only only one oxygen mask. So shall I be holding it to myself so that I survive so that you die? No, I'll try my level best to make sure you survive. If you're not in a position to uh, uh, to have enough, do you understand me? So, I mean, what you're saying is it's it, it goes deep, Mimi, to be honest. That's why people fast why do people fast they deprive themselves of certain things so that they can get certain things do you understand me so, so you're saying by giving mm -hmm. so you're depriving yourself so you're helping this person that needs it and you deprive yourself of that thing yeah you... if you don't need something at a certain position and someone else needs it and he is really needing it and you know that you can give trust me that's that's the once you give that person even the universe, you, God, will try giving, and multiply that. Are you giving because you truly want to give or because you want exactly, to show that you can exactly. give? Exactly. Now that's where it has to come in. Do you understand? It has to come from your heart. No, it's not It's that, not that I'm showing, showing off. No, it's not even about showing off. Buried. It's like, not about showing off. with life? Now, that's the thing I want to say. It's not about showing off. It has to come from deep inside your heart or your soul. That, you know what? This person needs this. And because I have the last penny, let me give because I know I will get. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The moment you have the mindset that you know that you're going to get whatever you give. Not saying, but this has to go with people who are really, their faith is on another level. Because most of the people do that and their faith is, they put all their faith in the religious. No, let me finish. I let me finish. Like people just do certain things to be seen as if, yes. No, not not yes, everyone. Yes, I have. Not everyone. I won't give you my last try because. I know. I understand that. I just want. I understand that, but I, I I'm have telling nothing you... to prove. That's why I think I've reached a level in life where I say I have nothing to show to someone. Do you understand? And I also I think would you have never to be... encourage someone to give. Okay, like my laptop. This, I don't think I'll give you this knowing that I'll need it. No, you don't give something knowing I that you don't want. need. I just want. Ming Ming, if someone comes, if if someone comes to me today, I've gone to work and I have 10, 10 Turkish lira, and that was the money that I have at that particular moment. Okay, and I was thinking of let me go buy juice with it, and then someone stopped me and told me, and asked me, I'm I'm really I'm really hungry. Please help me with food. And the way I've discerned the moment. And I've made that judgment that yes, it's true that this man is hungry. Let me give him my last penny. Do you understand? You deprive yourself of something. You give it to somebody else. That's like a double blessing right there, Mimi. Do you understand? Not if you're doing it to be seen. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Not you don't no, you don't you seen. don't do such certain say, things no, for today. sure of it has to come from deep deep side deep deep inside your heart. Your heart has, it's like you, you have to manifest it in the spiritual world before it even comes physically. Do you understand? You have to have seen it. You have to have, have uh, seen that, hey, you know what? Let me help 
let me help this one do you understand it shouldn't just just anyone comes and you want to help no you have it has to you have to look at a person which angle is he or she coming from do you understand of course there are people out there who will just come in just to trick you and get whatever exactly you understand just so, don't pour too much out of your cup that you have nothing to pour that, into that's what yourself. i'm saying there are people who come in and you know how to discern this kind of things that's why in life always ask the universe god allah for what for wisdom once you have the wisdom to discern certain things you can be able to to actually know who's the right person who's the wrong person who's the person to give and what not do you understand now on the on the aspect of of the religious leaders if you feel that um you, you you've gotten to a point that okay you know what i want i have i have so much blessings with me that let me just go and give to this religious leader and whatnot and it doesn't really affect your pocket and you've given so much charity out there to other people well and good okay but for the for the believers and people of faith who are out there this is to show you that you know what he doesn't mean a harm to you people it's you people who are depriving yourself from becoming rich. And that's what it means by posting yourself in a private jet. No, I mean, if you know that you, you're, you're, the, you're that kind of a person who you go give to a religious leader and you know that you don't have that much, then you have to rethink of that. Rethink in that whole scenario where you have to actually try and build what you have first. Or if not building what you have first, see where what you can uh, what what you can do with the little that you have. Do you understand? I was reading this book, and the first statement was saying most of the people give so much faith to religious leaders, to institutions like churches, uh, mosques, and everything, and they forget about God. Do you understand? Once you have the faith with Being yourself, bringing us back to what I'm saying, people are giving because they want to be seen. Exactly. To the exactly. Yeah. To Very understand. true. So now you give in to the people. Oh, funny gave one thousand in church. Yeah. Exactly. You see now, funny that gave $5, which is really wrong. It's not like you're in a in and a. And yet, a, at home, I need that one thousand that I put yes. in that basket. Yes. So you see, so the moment you realize that, build your faith to a point where, when you know that you give, you know that you're gonna get back, in multiple. Do you understand? Build your faith. Uh, through God, Allah, the universe. Don't build your faith through the religious leader who doesn't even know who you are. You might be just, you might be just a one, one uh, seedling just standing there. He doesn't even know you, and you're just going to give it to him. No, build your faith to a position where, when you go and give, you have the power, and the power, and 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 whatever you give, it comes back even multiple times. Don't just go and give just because you want to go and impress the religious leader or you want to go or because they said, oh, we need to build this church. We need to give. You're going to get blessings. No, that's not how it works. Build your faith. Build your faith to a point that when you remove that money from, from your deepest inside of your heart and not showing to the people, it will come back even more. It has to be willingly and set up by you inside your heart inside your soul it has to work out in a spiritual world first before it even goes out in the physical so yeah let us know what you guys think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video